Up until now, we've been calculating how much of this can I make if I use up that. And that is called the theoretical calculations. And it's theoretical because we assume that that's what we'll make if we use everything and none of it gets spilled on the floor and none of it splashes out of the beaker. And that we call that the theoretical yield. And the theoretical yield is what we calculate. Then we go in the lab and we try and make something, and we end up with what we end up with, and that's called the actual yield, what we made under real conditions. So the percent yield can be calculated as the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield times 100. So here's a typical problem you might see that involves a theoretical yield or a percent yield. What is the percent yield if the actual yield is 65.3 grams and the theoretical is 70.5? Well, the actual yield, 65.3 grams, divided by the theoretical yield, 70.5 grams, times 100, gives us the percent yield, 92.6%. I think these are pretty straightforward because most people have been working with percentages in their lives before they came to chemistry. And this seems sort of like a logical thing that you would do. So if we look at the next one, tell me how to set this one up. What goes on the top? And what goes on the bottom? The 75.0. Doesn't that seem odd? We get 104%. Did I make matter? Yeah, you probably have some contamination. And for us in chemistry, when we make things and they're in a solution and then we dry them, the most common contamination is water. So we often see that it looks like students are getting higher than 100% yield, but they're really not. They just have water in there. Their materials really aren't dry. And when we go to lab at 10 o'clock today, we're going to look at evaporating something to dryness. And you're going to see how long it takes to get it dry, to get it really dry. And we may have some high yields. All right. Do you have any questions about anything that we've done up until now?